in today's video, it is a nice number theory problem. It's coming from the Hellenic Mathematic Olympiad 2006. So we get this equation 2 is multiplied by x to the y minus y equals 2005. Okay. Before we solve this, this problem, let's notice two important things here. So in this situation, we get y is an odd. You know, this is even, this is odd, which means this one must be odd. Also, let's compare this to integers x and y. So for example, let's take y as a smallest, let's take y equals one as a smallest value for y. So if I'm going to replace y with one, so I get two times x minus one equals 2005. After you moving over number one to the right, you get 2006 here, which means we get this value of x, which is two times, is giving us 2006, which is big value, which is very big value in comparing with that y, okay? Which means all y must be smaller than x, okay? This is one side. On the other side, let's take if, if you have x equals 2 or 3 or 4 or 5, this one definitely y is going to take the following values 1 or 2 or 3 or 4. Why? Because x is bigger than y. Okay? So we get 2 times x to the y, which equals y plus 2005. Okay? So notice here if x is taking the following values which means y is going to take either values, one, two, or three, or four, okay? So notice here, always keep y is smaller than x. If x equals two, which means y equals one. If x equals three, which means y is going to take two, y is going to take one or two, okay? And so on and so forth. So this one is definitely left-hand side is always smaller than right-hand side of this e equation, okay? If you replace any values of x or y, in the left hand side of this equation, never ever get rich the right hand side of this equation value. Okay, always this, this side is smaller than this, side. which means x equals 2 or 3 or 4 or 5. There is no solutions, there is no solutions, no solution. Okay, now we are going to keep x is super equal to 6. What's gonna happen? Let's add another condition if y is super equal to 4 if y is super equal to 5 okay what's gonna happen here now let's build a nice inequality by starting with this condition let's put x as a base in this case so we get here the following y y is super equal to 5 this implies x to the y is super equal to x to the 5 if I'm going to make if I'm going to make x as a base here, okay. So what to do here? I'm going to put minus sign. I'm going to multiply both sides by number two here. Then adding minus y on both sides. So we get twice is multiplied by x to the y minus y, which is super equal to two times is multiplied by x to the five minus y, okay? Now, this one is exactly equals 2005, okay? Let's move over this minus y to the right and flip this inequality. So, 2 times is multiplied by x to the 5, which is inferior equal to 2005 plus y. Also remember, y is strictly inferior than x. So this this one that uh, this one must be strictly inferior than this one, which means thus I get two is multiplied by x to the five, which is strictly inferior than two thousand five plus x. Okay, so we get ended with this nice inequality. Okay, so what happened here? So we get build this inequality based on this condition that we have here. Y is super equal to five. If X is super equal to six and Y is super equal to five, it gives us this inequality. But this inequality, if X is super equal to six, doesn't hold. For example, if you, if you take X equals six, 
the left hand side of this equality becomes bigger than the right hand side of this inequality, which means this one doesn't hold. Thus, y must be is strictly inferior than, than 5. Since y is our odd, which means y is going to be in this set, 1 and 3. The only thing left now, we just are going to check the following values, 1 or 3, which one is going to be a solution here. Let's start in with y equals 3. If y equals 3, replacing y with the original, replacing y into the original equation, so we get 2 is multiplied by x to the 3, minus 3, which equals 2005. Thus, we get x cubed. So we get 2005 plus 3, which is 2008, divided by 2, which is 1004. But this one is not a perfect cubed. Okay? It doesn't work, which means y equals 1. If y equals 1, I'm going to replace that in, the, in that equation here, right here. So we get 2 is multiplied by x minus 1, which equals 2005. So let's solve this equation. I get x, 2006, 2005 plus 1, which is 2006, divided by 2, I get 1003. This is good, okay? Because we have... This is good. Now we have the following solution. I get x equals 1000. And 3 with y equals 1. This is the only solution for this equation. So I have done this problem. So I have done this problem. Thank you for watching. I will see you next video. Why?